Hey friends and welcome back to the Krusty Cranks TV where we make lures, paint baits, and do all kinds of fun stuff. Um, so here's what we're going to do today. We're going to make this uh, pumpkin seed and um, I'm going to put a picture up on the screen so you can see what we're kind of trying to get to. Um, and I've done this bait once before. It's just um, I'm going to try a couple little different things this time. I've actually got a stencil this time, so um, see if we can't make it a little better than what it looked like before. Um, okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over the colors. We're going to use pearlized tangerine. Then we're going to come back with a little vermilion red U.S. Art Supply airbrush colors. Then we're going to use the old trusty detail moss green. And then we're going to put the uh, Laguna blue on for the... Uh, <clears throat> excuse me for the uh, spots so without further delay let's get into it all right i've already got this bait all primed up no pearl white this time um, we're going right to the pearlized orange tangerine because that's going to give me my pearlized belly and i'm going to come over top of it just to redden it in a little bit um, try to match that that picture all right so let's hit this belly with a little pearl orange tangerine i always say orange but it's a tangerine it's orange to me i'm gonna turn this down a little bit and i'm gonna come all the way up and get those gills a little bit let me turn this down a little more splatter a little bit And get those gills a little bit a little bit more right here coming up all right that's all we're gonna do with that we want just enough to give us a little pearl now I'm gonna deepen that up a little bit with some of that red vermilion red so you can see his belly's really dark Kind of a dark, dirty orange. More on the red side, I would say. Um, so, I didn't want to go straight red. I want to try to work my way up to that that orange red. So, I'm going to put a few drops of that vermilion in here. Get it coming through. There we go. Yeah. Trigger sticking a little bit. Okay. That's all I'm going to do with it. I'll leave it right there. All right. Um, clean this brush out, and I'll bring you right back. Okay, next we're going to go with some detail moss green. And we're not going to need much, just a few drops because I don't want to go too dark with it yet. If I have to, I'd rather be able to come back after I put the blue on. I'd rather come back after I put the blue on. And, uh, Hit it with a little more if I have to. I got a little, little bit of orange in there still. Mix that up in there. All right. So I'm just gonna. Want to be more dark on the top, as you can see kind of got that dark back 
And there's a few different pumpkin seeds. Um, we've caught them. We've, we catch them in our area. Um, and the one that I got a picture of is a little more on a faded light color. It kind of was had a faded orange stripe spots on it. Or I'm sorry, faded blue spots. Real light orange. But I come across this picture on the internet. And I've caught them like this before. I don't know if it's when... Uh, if it's a certain time of the year that they get real dark. Or if that's a different breed. Different, different cross. Not really sure. If you know, put it down in the comments for me. But uh, I really like the color of this darker one. Thought it was more more of a chance to get a match on that. And probably up a little high on the orange anyway. I'm going to work this down just a little bit. Sorry if I'm out of the camera. I'm trying to trying to stay better and staying in the camera. I'll tell you what, I'm going to hit this with some heat and uh, put a little, little dab, a little more paint in there. Well, and uh, I can't darken that back up a little bit. Okay, got me this stencil here that I made, so I'm going to put this stencil on. I might have to go off camera just for a second just to get it positioned right on there. Just gonna roll that stencil on there like so try to get it down all the way so it don't spray over but I didn't go again I was gonna hit that moss green one more time but then I remembered the last time that I did this bait I am um, actually hit the moss green one more time when I was all done on the top just to kind of blend them blue spots in a little bit so that's what we're going to do this time too all right so got the stencil on there I'll try to keep it in the camera for you let me adjust the camera down a little bit okay again we're using uh the wicked colors wicked laguna laguna blue laguna Turn my pressure down some more. And I'm going to try to hold this. And we'll dry that a little bit. And clean off my tip. 
to I'm not even worried if I don't hit them bottom ones. They're this there in case I didn't line up all the way. I would have some spots down there. So I'm not too worried even if they fade in just a little bit. take one more last look at it before I pull it because once I pull it I'll never get it back on in the same spot but I think it looks pretty good oh yeah I want to be gentle because I want to reuse this stencil if I just jerk it off of there yeah nice nice once that epoxy hits it, it's going to really pop. Okay, let me stick this back on and line up the other side and we'll get the other side down. I'll bring you right back. Okay, got this other side stencil on and we're going to lay a couple layers of blue on there. It with the dryer. And we need a little more paint. Okay. All right, I'm liking it. stencils aside I can maybe get a couple more uses out of them all right uh, see a couple issues um, I guess my orange wasn't dry all the way right there and it kind of pulled off excuse me so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, 
touch this up a little bit with some more with the orange again and then probably a little more moss detail moss green on the back and they got a little piece of something right there all right so give me a minute to clean up everything I'll come back and uh, bleak will blend that in a little better okay we got a little put a little that more of that vermilion red back in there and we're just gonna try to touch this up a little bit that looks good right there over here now and then the top's gonna have the green so let me dry this real quick put the green in Okay, we got that um, Wicked Detail Moss Green back in there, and we're going to darken this back some more, and just kind of blend them specks in. Oh yeah, that's making a big difference. And then we're going to go a little bit around the face right here. dry this and uh, we got one more thing to do so we put the eyes on it we got to put the black ear okay we're gonna put the the ear tab on here doing it in black not that much black <laughs> I'd have blurred it all over the place still pretty high Looking sweet. Looking sweet. Turn down just a little more. If I had to do it over again, I would bring that blue or that green down a little more. But I like how it lets the colors show through. So it really lets the blues come out of there. And he's kind of got the dirty face. I have a little more blue on his face would have been good, but... I don't know. I think it'll look good once the epoxy's on it. So uh, let's stick some eyes on it and get it in the epoxy. Okay, for eyes, I'm going with these red and black, just like in the picture, his eyes are red and black. So 
Let's just put a little dab on there. Plenty. You got to watch the super glue after a little while. It starts getting stringy if you're not careful. Now these eyes are leaning towards the front. That's where I'm going to put them. I get it off of there. Then I get my little burnisher tool and get it in position. Looking good. I'm excited. I can't kind of wait to get the epoxy on it to see what this is going to look like. Some people say, why do you need super glue if it's adhesive? Well, for one, that I think that helps me is with the super glue on there, it kind of lets it slide around a little bit so you get it in the position that you want before the glue actually sets up. And... It just makes it better. It just ensures the eye stays on there. At least makes me feel better. Even if it don't do anything else, it makes me feel better. But there we go. Wicked pumpkin seed. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to get some epoxy on it, guys. And I'll bring you guys back for the finished look. Okay, friends, we're back, and uh, here's the uh, finished pumpkin seed, and uh, yeah, I like the way it turned out. Looks really good. Um, probably could have went a little brighter with the blue, but um, yeah, I still like it. I think it looks good. Looks really close to the picture we were shooting for. So let me show you the colors that we ended up using. Okay, we used uh, Golden's Titanium White. Then we hit the chin and the bottom of the body with uh, tangerine pearl. And then we came over top that a little bit with the uh, vermilion red, which is kind of an orangish color. Um, we used a detail moss green for the back. And then we used Laguna blue for the, the markings, the spots. And then finally, we used opaque black for the ear. Dressed it with a nice red and black eye. And uh, two coats of uh, epoxy. So, yeah, I think it turned out really good. Actually, the details look really good on it. Um, so I'm happy with it. So, yeah. There's the finished pumpkin seed. All right. All right, guys, I appreciate you watching. I uh, appreciate you. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And that way you'll get notified when we put up a new video. And give us a like if you thought this video was a good video. So, appreciate it. And we'll see you on the next one. And remember, stay crusty, my friends. Mm -hmm.